It has been nearly five months since Hurricane Irma blew through central Florida, but some Brevard County residents say they're still dealing with these damaged docks and inaccessible boat ramps at area parks. Channel 9's Melanie Holt live in Brevard County for us tonight. Mel, these residents just want to be able to safely access their parks. It's still an issue, particularly here in the northern part of the county. There's already been a major cleanup here at the Port St. John boat ramp, but you can see here this dock is in need of repair, as is this nearby pavement, and that's just what we can see on the surface. There goes a gentleman in his boat right there. On any given day, Chuck Mullen would rather be fishing, but right now he can't launch from the Port St. John boat ramp just two miles from his home because of damage from Hurricane Irma. It didn't take me that long to repair everything around my house. I mean, it, you know, so I don't, I don't understand what the holdup is here. When we reached out to Brevard County this afternoon, we were told if the county makes repairs at the Port St. John boat ramp right now, they wouldn't be eligible for FEMA reimbursement. Instead, the Port St. John boat ramp sits behind a portable barricade. They're trying to keep us out here. It's not working. But you can see what we got to deal with. It's all washed out under there, so uh, it's way too steep now for my uh, trailer. County Parks and Recreation is still working on a comprehensive list of boat ramp closures for Eyewitness News, but we do know almost all of the county's parks have reopened following Hurricane Irma. The few Titusville area parks that remain closed at this time have a large amount of shoreline damage. They include Kennedy Point Park and its boat ramp, Rotary Riverfront Park South, and Cracker Jack's South Catwalk. There is a lot of other people that, that come down here that, that enjoy this area. I will be following up with the county to see if there's any timeline available for these park repairs. Live here in Port St. John, Melanie Holtz, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.